welcome back to Photography by Harrison. If you recall, the last two times we met, I was in the kitchen because the weather was too bad to get outside. But guess what? Another winter storm is rolling through, so we're going to be back in the kitchen again and continuing our water drop photography. And what we're going to be doing today, we're going to start with just plain water. We're going to add water in the water to check out the water drops. Then we're going to add red drink into the water to see how that looks. Then we got then we're going to add the milk into the water, see how that looks. Then we're going to add red, red drink into red drink and milk into milk. Then at the very end, we're going to add the milk into the, to the red drink just to see what happens. It might be a success, but it might be a total failure. But anyway, I think we'll have fun. And I'm going to show you how I set up and the props and what I use to get all that done. And with that, now I'm going to go into my explanation and how I do it. Of course, this is just an ordinary kitchen table. Which I cover with plastic. Then I cover the plastic with a towel. And as you can see, this is a little water container. Just a little footstool sitting on the table. A little plastic container to catch some of the water overspill. And I love to start out with a little glass of water. This is the flash I've been using for the magic. It's the Sunpack 422D. And you can find these on, uh, it's a manual flash. You can find them on eBay in between 20 and $40. And actually, this is my original one. And this one is almost 40 years old, but it still works flawlessly. And this is the camera, the Panasonic FC1002. And I have it set up on a light stand. Because once I get my focus set, the camera never moves, nor do actually the container moves. And when I do remove move the container to, to refill it with water or milk, I mark the exact location where it is and set it down on that same spot. On camera, this would appear as a high quality texture backdrop. But what it really is, is just a dollar curtain I got from the dollar store, held on by little clamps to take out some of the wrinkles. And when I'm doing water drop photography, I manual focus. I will set a pencil into the water, dead center. And I will focus on the pencil and try to drop my drops directly in that location. Now, this is the way I do it. There's probably some a lot more simpler ways and a lot more scientific ways to do it. But this is the way I do it, and I have fun doing it. It's kind of like fun in the kitchen, you know, bring the little kid out of you. I just hold my droplet up and just start doing it. See, just that simple for me. Now let's take a look and see what we came up with. I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic water drop photography adventure. And as always, if you like what you see, go down to the comments below 
and let me know what let me know what's on your mind because that way it motivates me to go out and do more videos if you don't like what you see it's all right tell me because then again that will also motivate me to go out and do more videos so you like them next time you know i say it all the time when it comes to photography no one knows it all and the more you learn about photography you know the rest the more you learn you didn't know so with that i will see you next time